In the auto lift kit for the Model S parcel shelf, this is what will be included. You will have a spacer, a retainer clip, some wire, a pin, and then you will have a small sticky pad. This is used for the refresh S only. You don't need this for the Legacy Model S. And last but certainly not least, you have a little card here along with a QR code and instructions for installation. So for the install of the anchor here, what you're gonna wanna do is take your shim. You can just kinda go ahead and push it in between your trim and the car and give you a good little pivot point to be able to lift it up just to fit that in. And then I like to pull this down to right about where these two trim pieces connect. And that is where I have found to be the best spot for that. Now, whichever side you choose to install this, and you only need it on one side, you will want to go ahead and put in the pin. So what you should do is take the end with the little spinner, and go ahead and slide that through. Then you will take this whole thing and put that right into the corner, much like so. So some of these actually have seams on the end, some don't. If they don't, just uh, make a small little hole Kind of pick it up a little bit you're just going to want to push it right through and you shouldn't need a hammer but if you need to you could use one and just like that that is nice and secure then you will go back up here and just thread this right in to that eye hook and just like that it is all installed. So on the Refresh S, all this has been redesigned and ideally you want the anchor to be right about here. And this is actually where the little sticky pad comes into play so you can actually use that to block it so it doesn't keep sliding all the way down. But we'll go ahead and install this one on the passenger side. Again, you only need one of these kits on one side. So we kind of have that where we want it. We'll pull our spacer back out. And so that, just like this, and once you get your wire installed, you can go ahead and attach it to the anchor up top and use that double-sided sticky tape to actually secure that anchor wherever you would like the partial shelf height to be. You can actually take this tape and tuck it under the trim panel so you don't see it. But here in this photo, you can actually kind of see a good idea of placement. So that way that anchor doesn't pull down any further. And you can also use this for previous generation Model S's, depending on what rear hatch trim they do have. Thank <laughs> you. 